arbejde. Så YouTube. Back in another YouTube video. Uh, today I did upper body. I uh, got a new PR. So we got 13 reps with 225 uh, on the bench press. And then I did some accessory work, some dips. Uh, I warmed up my upper back really good. Because like I've always been doing these um, inverted rows for like the past months now. And I can see how strong my upper back has become and how like healthy my shoulders are, you know. So these exercises are really important to get that upper body right, like get the chest nice in front, shoulders down and back. So when you bench, you're benching like on a stable ground, you know. A lot of people when they bench they uh, roll their shoulders forward and they bench like this, you know. So just look how big the range of motion is when you keep your shoulders in front. This is the range of motion, you know, instead of this, boom. You see the difference? Boom, bench like this. So it's already like maybe 10, centimeters less you need to press which means you're gonna get more reps like at least one or two more reps because the range of motion is smaller and a regular bench press where you need to press like with, with your shoulders from front here yeah? other people do that is a shoulder impeachment so the shoulder joint is grinding in in the cuff in the rotator cuff you know and if you pull the shoulders down and back it's no impingement anymore so keep in mind if you want to <laughs> keep your shoulders strong and healthy the way you bench the way you approach a, a press movement is really important uh, again a lot of people don't understand if you want to increase your bench press you need to increase your pull-ups too. Your upper back strength, your pull-up count. Heck, even uh, an overhead press can uh, dramatically increase your bench press if your shoulders are lacking strength. So for me, my shoulders always been strong. So if I do like a period of overhead pressing, I can gain like five or 10 kgs more on one RM of like three months time but it ain't gonna matter that much for me uh, especially as a natural lifter because a natural lifter <laughs> yeah it's uh, it's hard to gain reps on a 225 test if you're doing all these um, additional exercises so you need to be benching frequently in a week and change up the grip or the range of motion in the bench press. So, for instance, when I'm uh, working on my lockout strength, I go to the floor and do a floor press, you know, to overload that that uh, lockout movement. So, your elbows go to the floor and press back up. So that's a 90 degree angle. A lot of people tend to stuck more on the bottom position of the bench press. So. The best thing you can do is then perform deep dips, a lot of deep movements, so uh, weighted dips to increase that power of the chest. And yeah, that's that's it. So there are a couple of tips for your bench press performance. So now I'm on a bike uh, doing 20 to 30 minutes of cardio, and then I'm going to do some static stretching to. Uh, uh, increase my uh, <laughs> recovery process for tomorrow so tomorrow I got a track workout and uh, leg day so I need to be ready for that yesterday was an amazing work workout with my dad uh, and yeah I hope you guys are enjoying the content so far and catch you guys <laughs> no 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 I'm gonna stretch first 10 minutes 
and then I'll, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.